What's up everyone? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to link up your streaming service onto Rekordbox. So mind you, there's only specific streaming services that work like Beatport Link, SoundCloud Go Plus, BeatSource, and also Tidal, which was announced uh, several months ago. So for more information, you can head over to the recordbox.com website. But here I'm gonna show you how to, um, how to log in into Recordbox and, um, and uh, we'll take it from there. So what you see here, I've got a Tidal subscription and um, I've also created um, a few playlists over here. So I'm just gonna quit this and um, as you can see, I've got Tidal just at the bottom corner in this in this little tree here. So, but you can also see that I don't have SoundCloud and, and BeatSource and Beatport Link on there as well. So if we go into preferences, view, you can customize your layout onto how you um, on, onto how you want. So right here, I've just got title click because that's the subscription that I have. Cross that out there. Title. All we've got to do is log in. That'll take you to the right streaming service website in order for you to log in. And uh, I'll just do that right here. Log in. Okay. So I'm in. Now all I need to do is just close that window, and uh, we'll just wait for it to load. There we go, loading title library. Okay, so um, you can also navigate um, new tracks uh, on whatever streaming service you have. So for example, if I type in Lecrae, hit enter, and all that would uh, would come up as, as normal. So I've, I've got a collection here also, so I'm just gonna go to my mix. So as you know, with Tidal, um, you've got customized, you, you've got um, like a My Mix, so it, Tidal customizes um, a playlist uh, to your liking. Here's My Mix, but as, as you can see, I've already analyzed some tracks. Um, in order for you to analyze a track, you need to add it to your collection. So I'll go here, for example, I'll go to a, uh, here we go, Beats of the Rhyme. So what I'm gonna do here is I can either drag it and from there on in, it'll import that track uh, into Recordbox, followed by an analysis. Or you can simply select um, X amount of tracks. Um, you can click in import to collection. And then after that, it would automatically analyze, depending if you've got it activated or not. So let's just travel down the drop down menu. And we've got genres, and it's similar to title also. Um, and then if I scroll down the different moods and you're able to select uh, select tracks from there. Mind you, you will need to be connected to the internet for this. And you can simply play tracks as normal. Also on top of that, if you have any customized playlists um, that you've created, so I've created a playlist in title, scroll up and I can move it over here. So one of several lists, okay, it already exists. So you can put it over there, transfer it to your normal playlists. So it's just, so it's easily accessible. Might I also address that you cannot record st um, stream tracks. Yeah, you may have downloaded it and imported it into your collection, but through Recordbox, you cannot, uh, you cannot do it because simply you're paying for a streaming service. You don't own the music. So you can play the tracks in performance mode. In export mode, let me show you. Um, I believe you can still access the tracks from there, but you're not able to, you know, use Pro DJ Link to, um, you know, put it onto your XDJs or CDJs, only to be used in performance mode. So, um, so, oh, okay, there you go. You can only be used in performance mode. You cannot view the tracks in export in export mode. See, the tree view shows you iTunes, in flight, no streaming service available. Only in performance mode. And uh, that's it. Be sure to subscribe for more tech news and for more music. Please hit that like button, share it to your, share it to your friends. And if you've got any questions, put it down in the comments below. And uh, that's it.